it was just my shoulder. I didn't mean to. It just made its own noise. <laughs> Listen, I didn't mean for it to do that. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. sure. Uh, hello, everyone. Happy Labor Day. Hi. We're glad you're joining us today. We are coming on here to talk about all of the colors. I'm going to try to pull some over. All of the colors for fall. All of our favorites from the Magpie line. And we are going to swatch them for you. It's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. You can get all of these products at Magpie Beauty USA or on the Magpie USA app. Uh, I'm Sarah with my gimpy finger. Yeah. And that's Rachel. Hi. And we are happy to be here. <laughs> Uh, hey uh, everybody. Yes. Uh, Amy Rochelle Mills says hi. Hello. Kay Marnell says hey. Hi. Hey. I'm so glad you're here today. Oh, they're bowling upstairs. Oh let's, gosh, it's a holiday. Can we let's all have one day let's hope that they're not so noisy in just a minute. Okay, so Rachel, what did you do over the weekend? I did absolutely nothing. Nothing? I cleaned my house a little bit. Um, definitely took a lot of naps. <gasps> and watched a lot of Netflix. Brilliant. Yeah, so I love that for you. A very, it was a very chill weekend. I love that for you. But That's what nice. I'm planning for next weekend. I love that for you. I'm so happy. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be so good. It's going to be nice. All right, we are going to be starting with, we're going to kind of go in rainbow order. So we're going to be starting with the creams and the browns and things like that. Then we're going to move into the reds, oranges, yellow, green, blue, purple, all of the colors. Mm -hmm. So if you have a color that you would like to see, we're happy to pull out a swatch and compare next to the color that we do. Otherwise, we're just going to roll on through yeah so starting with nude jude this is a beautiful nude for fall uh when i first started doing nails i used white for everything but then when rachel joined the team uh she was like well what about the ivories and i was like what do you mean <laughs> i don't know what to do with those I had a t-shirt that like nude is a color and nude it that's right nude is totally a color and nude jude is a beautiful cream ivory color it does have a slight brown undertone uh it's just gorgeous when you're thinking about like fall ombres or you're thinking about background colors for when you are doing these deeper fall colors, this is just such a beautiful option. Now, all of these gels, we are going to do it with a one coat coverage just to speed up because if you could see the mountain of colors to my right, you would say, well, this is going to be a minute and we don't want to take forever, but we do want to show you all of our favorites. Yeah. So we are going to do it in one coat coverage. However, we always suggest doing two color, two coats on your clients mm -hmm. just for the strength and the flexibility that the gel provides. So this is new Jude. So pretty. And these all cure for a full 60 seconds. And one thing that's nice is that you can flip upside down and you can self-level the gel. Because we're using products that are 100% gel, we don't have to worry about paper thin layers or anything like that. So instead you can just turn it over, make sure it's all level before it goes in the lamp, mm -hmm. and then give it a full 60 second cure. Can I have a file? Absolutely. Here you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. Your timer is on 10 seconds. Love that. Um, Thanks, Devin. We love you, too. <laughs> Salt City Salt City Lacquer said, love Aww. you. Hi, buddy. Love you. Um, all right. Next up. Next up on this gigantic order of things is one of my favorites. It's oh. Crikey Nora. Which... I already have one I'm going to take out and just show the swatch. Okay. Okay, keep going. Um, this is just a beautiful kind of mauve purpley pink, um, but it has... I don't know, kind of has that nude undertone, so it's not like straight up pink purple in your it's face. It's so pretty. Um, what you doing, bud? Um, I'm finding Marla Mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which fits right next to that. Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. think it's so pretty. This one yeah. has more pink in it, but mm -hmm. it's just one of those, like, one. we can't swatch every color we have, so mm -hmm. some I'm just going to show on a swatch stick. But mm -hmm. that one, so pretty. Yep. That's beautiful with this one. Ooh, Crikey, ooh. Nora. Crikey. Um... I have a client who this is all of a sudden her favorite color to this wear. This is it. So we have done this about six times on her in the that's, past year. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. And I do love that the Magpie gels can be one coat coverage. Mm, absolutely. Because sometimes ain't nobody got time to wait. Well, if you think about like, for instance, the Hailey Bieber trend, the, the chrome, you really don't need a lot of color behind yeah. it. You need to have... A thinner structure so having colors that are so pigmented that you can use one coat is mm -hmm. really actually very nice yeah. so that you don't end up with really thick nails mm -hmm. oh, we got a, got a few questions on here um maybe 
Rochelle Nails asks, get a grip, what's the difference? Um, what is the difference between get a grip and what the gel polish is? Um, because get a grip is just a base coat. It's just a, you can use it as like a structured base um, or like a thinner gel polish base. Um, but these are all just the colors. Yep. Yeah. These are just the gel polishes. Yeah. Yep. Any others? Oh, oh, oh. And I accidentally exited out of it. So, Oopsie. Uh, nope. I lost all the comments. Darn it. So sorry. Okay. So next up is Marvelous Mavis. And this is a deep, rich, beautiful fall purple. It does have a gray undertone, mm -hmm. which makes it really nice for fall uh, rather than being a bright option. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. This one? Yeah. This one, there was a manicure I did um, a couple years ago, and it was this. And had Charlotte. And Ooh, this paired with the Charlotte glitter. What else did I have with it? Would be stunning. Maybe it was Marlon Mouse. Cracking or something. Love that. I had like this and like some pinstripes and glitter. I love that. It was cute. So cute. Alright. I remember it with the pinstripes. Yeah. Yeah, they were fun. Yeah. I can't remember what went with it, but I do remember that manicure. Some glitter. Gorgeous. Right. Next up. Moving into the brown family. <sighs> Guys, I just gotta say, Magpie's got some great browns. And this one, this is from the Mother Earth collection that came out last year? Yes. Last year. Um, well, it was this year. It was in January. Was in January. Mm -hmm. Couldn't remember if it's January or December. But and it is delicious. This one is gorgeous. That is a beautiful kind of like orangey toned warm brown. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this one for fall. It has a little bit of an orange undertone, but I feel like mostly it's like that leathery, yeah. like that rich leathery brown. Mm -hmm. Not like a, not like a burnt orange, not mm -mm. like that rusty. Yeah, not enough orange in there, huh? Not like that camely brown, but it's just rich and deep and beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely delish. Well, she's beautiful, and I love her. Yes, yeah, she really is. And mm. I wish the color was completely showing through on camera because it is a little bit more orange than it's showing up on camera. But it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't, like, sometimes when people say things are orange, I'm always like, ooh, that's scary. But it's mm -hmm. not scary. It no. just has a slight orange undertone. Yeah, there's just different different tones to mm -hmm. all these next up is cocoa bean this was also part of the mother earth collection if you are somebody who is wanting like earth tone colors just grab the mother earth collection yeah you're going to be so pleased with every single color yeah uh they're actually i think all of them, all are, of them in are in this collection Except that we for, have oh i didn't grab nutmeg but oh yeah nutmeg is also a really good yeah. one um it's more of like a nude mm -hmm. so anyway cocoa bean beautiful deep rich dark chocolate brown you can see there's just a tiny bit of red in there but not enough red to make it red no it's not like a like a maroon or anything like that it's just like a deep dark rich brown oh and you can even see a little it's bit of purple, purple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can see that in there i love this color though this is on my it makes for such yes. a rich rich brown mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um tammy miller says i want cocoa bean i feel like you should get it it's such a good one it's delicious mm. and that last one that i forgot to show the name of is clara's mud and that one is also in this this is that collection. cognac color mm -hmm. so here's clara's mud mm -hmm. after it's cured here's cocoa bean yep so pretty they're great friends all right and that goes please yes ma'am Next up, one of my all-time favorites. This is one of Sarah's favorites oh. of forever. This is forever Anna cake. This is just kind of similar to the tone of Clara's mud, but a little less orangey. Um, but is beautiful. Has this beautiful like gold frosting in it. It's so pretty. And this is such a good fall color. We absolutely love this one. And if you have clients who are a little less on the nail arty, glittery side and more on like just the simple side. This is such a perfect color for them because it's like just a just enough of 
something, you know, with that little bit of shimmer in it. It's just enough, but it's also still super neutral. I love when you call it a frosting because it really just gives this feel of like the slightest shimmer. It's yeah, not sparkly. It's not, it's not glittery. It's uh-uh. not chunky. It's, it's just, just Ooh, look how like beautiful. Frosty. I can't. It's so pretty. It's just a frosty brown. Oh, it's so gorgeous. But it's so beautiful. I love this color. So I this love pat a cake. Pat a cake. Stunning. All right, next up is the beautiful hazelnut. Now, this one is a brown, but you're going to see it has a lot of red in it. I hope that that's coming through. So it's like this really rich, autumn, vibey, gorgeous fall color. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the leaves when they're changing from that red to brown color. Yeah. So pretty. Or like those pictures that you see of Vermont where all of the trees are all mixed together. That's what hazelnut always reminds me of. You know, it just reminded me of when you said Vermont. What's that? White Christmas. <gasps> Let's White go and watch snow, that. Snow, 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 snow. I just Love want that. it to be white Christmas season. It'll be here soon. Real soon. Beautiful color. Hazelnut. Yeah, that's gorgeous. In that ghost, please. I love this color. These All right, out. now we're moving on into the reds. Uh, yeah, red, orange. Yep. We only have a couple of reds, but I'm excited. Um, okay, this one is such a fun color. If you don't have Ruby Marie, you should probably get it because this one is just so cool. Um, this is, this is we're really in Ruby Marie season, but this one is just so cool. It has a lot of like purple in it, but it's not purple when you put it on. It's like this kind of coppery red. I don't know. It's so hard to like describe. Again, it feels like those mountaintops or it has all of the colors. Yeah. Like, oh, it's just like if you put it on in a thin coat, you'll be like, oh, that's pink. That's mm-hmm. purple. Mm-hmm. But the, you know, second coat, when it deepens up, you're like, oh, that's for sure red. That's copper. That's brown. Has so much in it. So, such an interesting color. I feel like this one I have to do two coats just because you have to be able to see that color mm-hmm. pay off. You have to be able to kind of block that purple that's coming through. So I'm going to I'm gonna cure this and then I'll do two coats of it. Perfect. While she's curing that, I'm going to show you Gina G. Gina G is a just a beautiful rusty orangey brown. Mm-hmm. A little bit of red, a little bit of brown, a little bit of orange. Very much a muted burnt orange I suppose Mm -hmm. I love this color though like it's I don't know I think it's because it's not so intense Mm -hmm. I feel like this one pairs really really well with a lot of different colors I'm gonna try and come close so you can really see the colors that's just pretty that's a good color really just a gorgeous color for fall and that goes Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you in the bottle one more time so that you can really see sometimes those swatches don't give off the same color that you can see on the swatch itself or on the bristles Mm. so pretty i love that um coat number two of ruby murray oh and i sort of you closed that sort of closed the bottle (laughs) Ooh, it is magical right and Mm -hmm. it just kind of changes the color like you get less of that purpley pink undertone you get more of that deep red with that orangey copper yeah Mm. I love this color. This one's just so fun. This one is like a big client favorite at this time of year. So pretty. So we love that. Good old Ruby Murray. All right, next up is Ginger Spice. Ginger Spice is like what it says. So delicious. It's so delicious. It's just perfect, spicy, yep. orange. Gorgeous. I mean, this just reminds mm. me of Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Yep. This one and then the next one, Brandy Snap. Mm. And when you pair Gina G ginger spice and brandy snap together it makes like that perfect fall tone manicure Mm -hmm. thinking of like the swirl designs that are very popular right now Mm -hmm. yeah this over new jude with all of the colors swirled oh yeah yeah. or even how everybody's doing all the checkerboards and 70s prints and Mm -hmm. all of those like the smiley faces same color different tones yep like beautiful all Again, right, that was like Ginger it. Spice. Gorgeous. She's a beaut, Clark. Um, next up, 
this is one of my all-time favorites. I love a good orange, and Brandy Snap is just that perfect, like, deep, I don't know, spicy orange, brown. Yummy. A little bit of red. Like, it's just beautiful. Like, I, oh, man. It's so, so good. my whole house to be this color, to be honest. It just is so beautiful. These are very much your colors, huh? These are, yeah. These fall tones. Yep. If you saw my house, you'd be like, oh, absolutely. <laughs> my dark brown carpet and all of my furniture is like orange or yellow. Yep. Delish. I just love this color. She's just beautiful. Absolutely. Good old brandy snap. And it paints on like a dream. Like ginger spice uh, and brandy snap paint mm -hmm. on. Even Gina G like, ugh. So, so, so good. good. Oh, next up, I'm already ready to swatch it. But next up is Ginger Rogers, which is a pumpkin orange. And this one is also so good. It sure is. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what order these are going in, but that's fine. Such a fun tone of orange, oh, especially with Halloween one. coming up. Yeah, I think this is like such a perfect Halloween orange. Yep. Ooh. Oh, look. Gorgeous. That middle finger not working, you know? It's really thrown up. It's really you. just a mess. Ooh, I love the next one too. Mm -hmm. ah, so many good ones. Yep. Next up, we've got our good old buddy Pumpkin, which is just a classic for fall, for Halloween, whatever. It's just a beautiful kind of lighter orange, um, but it's not like a nude. It's like a true orange um, and then has a little bit of that frosting in it has a little bit of that same gold frosting that pat cake has whatever they're doing upstairs is really annoying they must be cutting something oh. doing their doing their remodel but like why could they just not <laughs> i don't even know who's up there such a pretty color just beautiful and this one is such a good fall color so if you don't have this one is one that we have a hard time keeping in stock in the yeah. fall so oh, if absolutely. you need a color like pumpkin i would get it sooner than later mm -hmm. absolutely stunning gorgeous all right moving on into i suppose that was the oranges so now we're doing the reds which we're starting off with bloody mary bloody mary is a deeper uh brick red mm-hmm very, very pretty. If you wanted a more true red, then you would go for Bella Rouge. Mm -hmm. This one is my favorite red, though. Like, I just love, like, a deep, I don't know, not, like, vampy, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A deep blood red. Blood. <coughs> and this one, I know, is on the Halloween collection, which the Halloween collection is 10% off through tonight. So if you needed a very pretty dark, deeper red, that today would be a great day to grab that. I love that. All right. Next up, keeping with the red theme, is a little bit more of a deeper, vampy version of that Bloody Mary. So this is very good. And this one is just like a beautiful, I don't know, a little it's bit more... more like more wine, more of that. Yeah, more of like a whiny brick red. What was that color that Anna Wasilowska always says? Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. Bordeaux is is darker though. Has a little bit more black in it. <clears throat> is a little bit more like this one. Gotcha. I like that. But this is just beautiful, just deep, deep maroon. Gorgeous. She's a beaut. I love this one. I, I do love that maybe color. Maybe I want to wear this. Very good. <laughs> Hang on, Such maybe a it's time. stunning color. The fall manicures have begun. They have. Yep. I'm just always, you know, wary to start them because I'll never stop. <laughs> that is true. You would wear them all year. All year. Next up is Ruby Tuesday, which is an oldie but a goodie. This one is one of those colors that people love in the fall. It does have a frosting in it, a slight shimmer. Uh, it does have a brown undertone, but it is that, has a little bit of orange in it, um, but it's definitely in the red family. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. Mm -hmm. 
doing great, bud. Hey, uh, thanks. That middle finger is, is being a little bit... It's so weird when you don't have the use of one of your fingers. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, you're like, Hang how do I brush my teeth? Yeah. How do I wash my face, it you know? It was the trying to put your hair in a ponytail. That did me in. That is, that is hard. Had to have my daughter put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> so great. Such a beautiful color. Ruby Tuesday. I'm going to come close to you if you can see that shimmer. Isn't wow. it beautiful? Wow. Gorgeous. And that yeah. goes, please. So cute. Uh, next up. On the Bordeaux train, we've got Nails gold. by T3S says, I do like Ruby Tuesday. It's, it's so, it's, it's just rich and just, it's a gem. It's beautiful. Oh, Black Cherry. Yeah. One of my faves. Black Cherry. This one is like, not a brown, not a red, not a purple. Not a purple, not, not a black. black. It's just all of them combined. Mm -hmm. It's yep. such a... I don't know. It's such a cool color. It's very unique. It's going to look brown right out of the bottle, but then when you paint it on, yeah. you're going to see it has a lot of purple in it. Kind of like cocoa bean, where it's like, you know it's brown, but it paints on purple, and you're like, what? Yep. There's this. And in the, even in the sunlight, depending on which way you're looking, it's brown, it's red, it's purple. Mm -hmm. It's but deep, it's, it's dark, it's rich. It's moody. It's perfect for fall. It's such a good color. So rich. I'm going to let this guy... Yummy. Settle. Settle. He's just beautiful. Good old black cherry. I just love this one. It's just like Hi, such Gail. a good black alternative. Yep. Um, but you know, it's not quite red, not quite purple. So it's kind of like a nice in-betweener. Mm-hmm. Yep, totally. Alright, next up we have Sherry Trifle. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, uh the other shows. option for this would be Nina Cherry, but sadly. HQ has a hard time getting all of the pigments due to the recent issues in our world. So Sherry Trifle is the next best. It's this incredibly beautiful, deep fuchsia pink. Mm, I love this mm. color. Aren't you just so pretty? Yes. <laughs> You're just so pretty. Yes, she is. Sherry. Uh, Mr. Manny Petty asks, uh, will you be saving this live? Yes, we will. Yes, absolutely. Always. You can watch it here on Instagram, or you can watch it on our YouTube. Just search for Magpie Beauty USA. It'll be available in both places. Mm-hmm. Um, he also says Sherry Trifle is stunning. Love. I just busted us out with this color. Ooh, I'll have to go look at that. Love, 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 love. Because I love this one. It's, it's so... A good, it's a good, like, fall transitional shade, yep. too. Like, if your clients are like, nah, I'm not really, like, down for all the browns yet. Right. This is a good, like... It feels like it could be end of summery. I have a client who only wears pinks, and so this is a good option for those oh, fall pinks who, you know, they just don't like any other color. Yeah. Then Sherry Trifle is definitely the winner. Yep. Um, all right. Moving into the purple family. Um, this one is definitely a little bit brighter, more vibrant. This is more on, like, the side of... Um, like Halloweeny purples, mm. um, good old Dizzy Lizzy. It's just like this beautiful. I'm gonna pull it. It's so deep, but it's so vibrant at the yeah. same time. Oh yeah, uh, you're the, the pairing that the always. Pairings to I know end that all we're pairings. not talking about glitter today, but the pairings to end all pairings is Dizzy Lizzy and Livy, Livy glitter, like burnished on top mm. of this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just go out into the sun, and it's going to be like a million beautiful sparkling stars coming back at you. And it's so pretty. So for Halloween, if you do a purple set, I would suggest Dizzy Lizzy with Livy Glitter. Yeah. Absolutely. Wholeheartedly. Yeah. Gorgeous. And they go so good. <laughs> but Dizzy Lizzy is just a beautiful color all by yourself. Absolutely. Even if you don't want glitter. Because can you just... Wow. It really is gorgeous. And I it? will say this. This is one of the like older colors. And this formula is one of my all-time favorites like she just paints on like butter gorgeous <clears throat> beautiful mm. it's beautiful. showing up darker on camera but in person it's very bright it's very it's it a, feels like it's a, a very like vivid deep i like fuchsia. the word vivid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah yeah it's so pretty all right Ooh. all right next up is dot to dot and dot to dot is a very cool color. I hope that you can see the blue coming through. There is a blue iridescent sheen to it. So it's a very deep, moody purple. Mm -hmm. And then it has this blue hit. Such a fun, cool color. It's just very unique. 
Mm -hmm. It's a very fun color. Mm -hmm. and just it feels Sanderson sister-like. It does. It really does. Kind of witchy. This feels hocus pocusy. Mm -hmm. I would like these on my nails. Gorgeous. I would also just like it to be Halloween. I'm not... It's coming. Uh, Are you ready for hocus pocus? Oh my gosh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can even see in the the reflection of the light bulbs that blue hit in there. Mm -hmm. Just such a fun, unique color. Yep. Again, that was dot to dot. Very shifty. Um, Gail Snell says nails without glitter is like cupcakes without frosting. That is true. But however, some of us don't like frosting. So. <gasps> and then there are those of us that don't. <laughs> there. And so it's okay. <laughs> And I like frosting, so then I'm like, I don't understand that. What do you mean? What do you mean no frosting? Yes. Yeah. It ruins it. I would rather have a muffin. <laughs> Some of us would like a muffin. Um, next up, we've got a beautiful, beautiful deeper purple. This is Dulce Vita from the Cozy Up collection last year, which, what an incredible collection Absolutely. that was. Like, there's just so much happening. There's a lot of, There's a lot of good gems in there that kind of got forgotten about because it was just the end of fall, but... This is a beautiful, deeper purple, a little bit of gray undertones, and it has kind of like a pink purple frosting to it. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Nails by Tammy Miller. I have a question. Most of the dark colors I have of Magpie tend to rub off in my top coat. Should I cure them longer? No, don't cure them longer. What we would suggest is um, to either float on your top coat or you can wipe away the inhibition layer. It's just mm -hmm. that all of the magpie colors have a lot of pigment and so that uncured gel that rises to the top, that inhibition layer, just has a lot of that pigment, but that doesn't mean that what's below isn't cured. Yeah. So we always just float on our top coat so that we keep that, so we don't have to have the extra step. Right. Um. Bree said, unpopular opinion. I don't think Hocus Pocus is that great. Listen, I'm gonna... I'm <laughs> Mr. Manny Petty said, uh, all the emojis like, what? Like, that's sacrilegious, Brian. <laughs> I don't know if we can be friends. Uh, the joy is that we all get to have these opinions. Yeah, right? your opinion is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, next up is Shrinking Violet, which is this gorgeous violet color. Very Love bright, this very fun. This very... one is like perfect for that like Halloween purple. Yep. Like just that deep but bright. At the it doesn't time. have pink in it. So Dizzy mm -hmm. Lizzie has a lot more pink. If we were, were to hold Dizzy Lizzie next to this, you're going to see Dizzy Lizzie as a pink color. Mm -hmm. But this one has a lot more blue tone. Yep. This one has like a lot violet. more blue and it's just a gem. She says, it's okay to be wrong sometimes, Rachel. <laughs> I don't know what that's like, though. <laughs> so pretty. Shrinking violet. Gorgeous color. And that goes, please. Love that. Listen, Tammy with the baby poop green. She says, <laughs> that's like saying green is like baby poop. Oops, I've said that. <laughs> Listen, we're all entitled to our own opinions. Absolutely. And our own loves. Some uh -huh. of us. But isn't that what's like great? Like, opinions. look all the colors we're showing. Some yeah. of them aren't necessarily what I would wear, but I think they're yeah. beautiful on you. Yeah. And you love them. And then I would say that I would want to wear something like Hunky Dory. And you'd be like, that's not really my color. That's not my color. Yeah. I would rather wear, you know, Some of us else. like Hocus Pocus and some of us like Blood and Gore. Not me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more Hocus Pocus. And that's okay. <laughs> I like a little of both. Yep. Uh, good old Hunky Dory. This is just kind of like a lighter version of Shrinking Violet. Um, that same kind of ultraviolet purple um but I feel like this one has a little bit more blue to it as yep. well. This one is a great fall color. And this was in what collection was this? Autumn Vibes? I want to say Autumn Vibes. Mm -hmm. I think it was Autumn Vibes a couple of years ago. And that was a good fall collection too. Even with the random pop star in there. I Gorgeous. That's such a good color. I don't get to use this in the fall very much. It's just kind of one of those um, hidden gems. Yep. I love this color. Hunky dory for the win. All right, next up is Heidi Boo. Heidi Boo is this 
on the here it shows purple, which is very funny because it's definitely a blue purple, definitely blue, or a blue color. Um, and it does have a slight shimmer in it. Hopefully you can see that, but I'll show it to you once I put it on the swatch. A frosting, if you will. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not that kind of frosting. Just like oh, a yucky kind. shimmery kind of deliciousness. Beautiful, beautiful fall time blue. This is one of my favorites. I think I own this one at home. So gorgeous. I'm having a memory. I do like the having the macro lens so that you can see the shimmer yeah, up close. That's so cool. That's so great. Stunning color. Beautiful. And that one goes again. That one was Heidi Boo. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Manny Petty asks, "What would you recommend as an autumn blue?" I'm struggling <gasps> to know what one to buy. Um, Why well, Delilah is a great one. Hang on. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm just going to say Heidi Boo mm -hmm. if you want one that has shimmer. Mm -hmm. Why Delilah. We grab the swatches. Why Delilah also has um, a little bit of. Am I thinking right? Does it have shimmer in it? Nope. It doesn't. Why Delilah um, does not. Let's just but grab I love Why Delilah. Thing. Let's help you out. Let's help you out a little bit. So we've got all of these deeper blues so you can see Heidi Boo and Y Delilah are kind of like a similar tone of like that denim -y blue Heidi Boo just has that shimmer in it uh, Midnight Sky is also a great fall blue um, just definitely more on that like deep navy side then when you move over into these and then we've got like sea breeze which is just more of that like neutral which is actually next up in our lineup it's just like a good neutral gray blue and then you can get more into the uh the greeny um, blues yeah kind of more teal blues um tinker taylor and not on my nelly are also in this lineup and gorgeous they're great fall colors yep so hopefully that helps <clears throat> um like i said next up good old sea breeze this is also from the mother earth collection that i rave about all the time it's absolutely just beautiful there's a lot blue. of gray yeah and so it makes for that really muted sea Mm -hmm. Sea breeze color. I, yeah, I love watching your for creative the, process. For the sake of no, uh, no colors. better word, sea breeze. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this is like a like a gray sky during a storm. Mr. Yeah. Manny Petty said thank you, and Glitter and Wink said Tickety Boo is my favorite. Oh yeah, Tickety Boo is a good one too. I it is. That. It didn't make I don't it. Where that swatches? I think it might be in the purples. Let's find mm. it real fast. That is good old sea breeze. Oh, it's literally right here. It's poking its face up at me. It's a blue purple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see it semi sheer, like you can see a little bit through it. Gorgeous. It's just a, it's just a good, good deep dark moody color. Yummy, yummy. Um, yes. If we all liked the same thing, then the world would be pretty boring. Well, you that's are true. Correct. Yep. Um, what's the one that's denim something? Uh, uh denim jean. Uh huh. Denim jean, Tammy. It's just kind of like, um, kind of like sea breeze, but a little bit more periwinkle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next up is Tinker Taylor, which is one of those darker teal blues. Beautiful. Oh, I sad. actually gravitate toward blues, so like this is my yeah. section of like. Mm. <clears throat> yep, these are definitely your colors. I love this one though. Like I love a good, like turquoisey blue. This deep like jewel tone blue. You're so pretty. It's like peacocky. You're just so gorgeous. You're just so good. You just mm, make so my nice. heart so happy. I'm going to come close, see if we can see the color better. It's definitely turning more blue on camera. It does have a lot more green in person. It's more like a jewel toned turquoise peacock, blue. Mm -hmm, turquoise mm -hmm. blue. Yep. Yep. Gorgeous. I will say, though, when you come closer, you can definitely see it a lot more. Oh, good. Because I'm watching it on my phone. I'm glad. Um, next up is a good old Not On My Nelly. This one is just a classic. This one is a also an oldie but a goodie. Um, this just kind of like Sea Breeze where it's kind of like a gray, blue, turquoise. But it, I love that it has that little bit of like a gray undertone. It just makes it so like neutral. I think this one's definitely a hidden gem because yes. this came out before all of those gray toned colors came out. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of got pushed to the side a little bit back when brights were in. Yeah. But I hope that it makes a comeback because it does fit those beautiful muted tones that everyone loves. Yeah. And Not on one, my Nelly. This mm -hmm. one is in such a good collection too. 
with like watermelony and my favorite like lily and mm-hmm. oh, the hilda flower absolutely in the days like that was such a good collection totally good old all right you so pretty good old oh, my nelly gorgeous all right next up we have a shimmery color i'm gonna say this one is shimmery it has more than a frosting mm-hmm. this one definitely has like little glitter pieces this is called suwa diddy this one is going to be a two coater i'm still gonna only put one coat just for the sake of time but this one you do need two coats because the gel itself is a semi sheer mm-hmm. uh, it's kind of like a jelly and then it has this beautiful teal glitter in it mm-hmm. this one is one of my favorites though i love this color but like if I swipe that on, you can see that it is semi sheer. Mm-hmm. So definitely want to use two coats. Like what are they doing? Sanding something up there. All right, perfect. Beautiful. You can see this has, like we said, uh, more than a frosting. It definitely has glitter pieces in it. Mm-hmm. Definitely more shimmery. Yep. Gorgeous color. I wish that you could see how like green it is, mm-hmm. but it's coming out blue. It's on a there. little more punchy in person. Like, Absolutely, it's a little more vibrant than it's showing up on camera. But gorgeous color. It's such a good one. Suwa Diddy, Diddy Dum, Diddy Do, <laughs> singing. Mm-mm. I don't know. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's before my time. <laughs> you do know it. No, I don't. You don't know that song? No. You forget how young I am. We are going to play that song for you. Okay, great. Sing and do what it is. Great. Keep going. You're doing so good. Thank you. <laughs> doing a okay, okay, dance. okay. Um, next up, also, <gasps> we're moving into greens. Yeah. Well, yeah, I love it. Suwa Diddy is a green. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, good old Gypsy Lee. I freaking love this color. Okay, this color. This is a me color for sure. Shoot. This is like, it's like gunmetal, but make it green. Absolutely. It's just like this deep, oh man, it's just a deep, olivey, sagey, metallic green. And it is such a stunning color. It's so unique. There's not a whole lot of colors um, that are like this. Like, a, I love a metallic green. I don't know why, but it's so good. And it's definitely got a lot of that gray in it. Um, so it feels a lot more neutral than it. Ooh, when you, you wipe know, that on. Man. That is delicious. Man. Hey, um, it's a uh, gypsy lee season. I'm going to go ahead and Boy, say it. Boy, it sure is. So When uh, the Mother Earth collection came out, this was the color everyone wanted to wear. Absolutely. I every single this client color so much. Yep. <laughs> but it is such a good color. Like it's just the right amount of green, the right amount of gray. The right amount of shimmer. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful color. Um, Next up. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Tammy Miller says she has this color and it's beautiful. Um, Was that, I think, Suwa Diddy. Uh Uh-huh. Love it. And then I want Gypsy Lee. I'm making a list as we go here. Great idea. Good idea. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Next up is Willow Tree, which is more like a sage green. Uh, The one after this is Rosemary and Thyme. And all of these came from the Mother Earth collection. We'll show them together. Mm Mm-hmm. So when you pair this with Gypsy Lee, you really do have just such a beautiful range of greens. Mm -hmm. But they're all that kind of muted, neutral, kind of gray undertone green. Delish. Delicious. And of course there is, oh, those are the next ones. I was going to say there was all of you more and Teresa Green, but those are next. We're going to swatch them for you. And those are the oldies, but goodies. Uh, There's also Jungle Jane. That one's a little bit more bright. Mm Mm-hmm. Man, willow love tree. Willow tree. You're so just so good. pretty. All right, and then we'll go for as much as I love these greens, I have never worn any of these sagey greens, ah, and I'm shocked. I think we're gonna. This is I the season. I think I need to. I think it might be my expo color. Ooh, I love it. Cause honestly, check that out. So yeah. pretty. It's just beautiful. It's like that, just like a soft. I want to call green. it like I was gonna say pastel. Like it has that paler yeah feel to it. Pastel. It's not pastel, green. but it's, but you it's, know what I mean. Yeah, it's in that same, just like light muted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I will say the formulas on all of these that, I mean all of them technically, but I feel like this collection is just so smooth and creamy and buttery. Yep. Wow. You're just so pretty. Wow. 
Thank you for being beautiful. You're Rosemary just so gorgeous. All right, next up is Teresa Green. This one is deep and dark and moody. I'll call and it vampy, beautiful. but it's green, so it's, it's not vampy, vampy, but it's, it's a deep forest definitely, green. Yeah, and it's beautiful. It really is. It makes me want to, you know, go explore the forest. Yep. <laughs> it has a good amount of black in it, I feel like, to make it, like, rich and dark. Mm-hmm. I love oh, oh, oh. But enough yellow in it to make it not totally dark. Mm -hmm. It looks black on camera, but it's not. It is deep, dark forest green. Stunning. And that goes, please. also have never been able to mix this color in gel paints before. I figured it out. You did? I did. You could get your Teresa green in your gel paint? Mm -hmm. I love that. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm very excited about it because <coughs> it always ends up being too, like, gray or too blue. Mm -hmm. Add neon yellow. <gasps> And then it, see, it has enough yellow in it to make it not black. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Love it. Thank you. Thank you to Sheridan for telling me how to mix colors. I love it. Um, Bree says, I bet Edward would like that green and he's a vampire. So vampire green is <laughs> Vamp green. Yeah. Love absolutely. Um, Mr. Manny Petty asks, is Teresa green darker than green with envy? It is. Yes. So green with envy has a little bit more, um, we'll call it Hulk green. Like, it has that brighter... <laughs> it's just... Yeah, it's just a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Teresa Green definitely is, like, deeper... Deeper, darker. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great colors, though. Uh, next up, one of the all-time favorites... Yep. For ...of all time and forever and always will be a favorite is Olive E. Moore. This is just such a beautiful, just, like, true olive green. Yep. Like, it's so good. While you're doing that, I'm going to pull out Jungle Jane since we mentioned that one. Yeah. Just so that we can see the differences. So Olive, Olive you more, which she is swatching right here, and then Jungle Jane. So it definitely has more. It's just definitely lighter. Lighter. It has a little mm -hmm. bit more of like a bright, like a bright green. I don't know. I don't what know how to say, it? I don't know how to say the differences like a between jade the different. Green. Yeah. It's like a jade green rather than an olive green. Rachel, you're so good at that. Hey, thanks. <laughs> it's, the, it's the only thing going through my brain. <laughs> Are the words to come up with to explain colors. The Absolutely. differences between the tones and whatnot. She's so good at it. Mm -hmm. But you can see that this one is lighter than this all of you more. Beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could pull out like my favorites, which are these brighter colors. But this is not appropriate for this season, that's even though fall. this is what I would want to wear. That's not fall. This is appropriate for this season. Yes, <laughs> yes that's fall. Love it. Yeah. All right, next up, moving on into the yellows, we have Mustang Sally, which this has a lot of green in it. I love this color. It's just like a khaki yellow. This one came out with the Cozy Up collection last year, and it is like a khaki yellow, yes. Um, Tammy Miller asks, I have a client who wants navy blue, but not dark. Is navy blue not dark? Uh, navy blue is dark. Royal yes. blue is brighter. Yeah, a royal blue is like like a deep blue that's not dark. Um, I would say you could do like Y Delilah or Heidi Boo. Mm -hmm. But then the darker you get, that is technically navy, navy. blue. Mm -hmm. I love this color. So you can see in the camera, there is a bit of, you know, more green in this color, especially mm -hmm. when we pair it with the next one that we're going to do. Uh, this one is definitely, I mean, you could call it that poopy yellow. No. No? It's khaki yellow. Khaki yellow. <laughs> it feels like buttery. It feels like soft. What color butter are you eating? Like a honey. I don't okay, know. Okay, honey. Like honey butter. That, there you go. That feels right. It's like a honey We're butter where it has that. These colors as poop. It has, well, they aren't poop, but I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful color. And when you pair this with those greens that we just did, mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah. Or you pair this with the Ruby Murray and Ruby Tuesday and the Berry Good. Yeah. I mean, it would just be such a beautiful fall manicure. Yeah. Um, and it is a little bit lighter and more muted compared to Piccalilly, which mm -hmm. is kind of that fall mustardy yellow. This one is a lot more vibrant, has a little bit more of that orange undertone, um, whereas Mustang Sally has a little bit more of that green brown undertone. Mm hmm. So, like, you would think they'd be, like, so, so similar, but when you compare them next to each other, they look so different. But they're both 
delicious. Yep. And they both apply really nicely. Mm -hmm. And I think when you pair them with the right colors, you get the equally mm -hmm. same good outcome. Yeah. You just, it's, it's based on the yeah. tone of the other colors you pair it with. Yep. Yep. Lots of comments for mustard for, uh, honey mustard. For mm -hmm. Mustang mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. All the colors. I will say, it's funny that Kayla is so mad at the name of Mustang Salad. She's like, it should be red. Uh, Jim says the same thing. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Magpie USA says the same thing. He's like, that should be a red. What do you mean? <laughs> my grandpa has always had yellow hot rods. Really? Mm -hmm. Look at that. So I feel like it fits. That totally fits. Mm -hmm. Um... Tammy, once Mustang Sally comes out of the lamp, I'm actually going to pause what we're doing to show, have Rachel show you that when you pair it with colors that fit so nicely, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Because although I'm not into Mustang Sally on its own, when she pairs it, I'm like, all right, I guess I could wear that. All right. I'm all right, here we go. Oh, Let's do it. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to grab... <sighs> I don't know. I'm going to grab a neutral to put with it. So we're going to do... I feel like I want to add one of these purples. Really? Yeah. The colors that you so pair I'm with it. Add, Whoa, look what at that. Was this crikey Nora. Yep. And then maybe a little bit of, yeah, Gypsy Oh, look Lee. at that. <clears throat> and it doesn't have to be the main color we wear. Yeah. Like, don't be afraid of Mustang Sally. Uh, it wouldn't be like on every finger. You no. could have it be with the accents. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Look at that. But it's kind of, I don't know, like you could just pair it with so many other colors. It's beautiful. And like these are all kind of that same tone of like being a dusty pastel. So they fit really, really well together. And then I always throw in something a little bit darker or something with a shimmer to kind of break up all of the creams. That is beautiful. Um, and it adds just a lot of, I don't know, contrast, add a little bit of spice. If we were talking about florals, these, this could be the color of your florals, and then mm -hmm. these are the other colors that yeah. you know are paired in it, and maybe this one or this one are the main colors that I would yeah. wear. I mean, even but it's still part of have it. Have this as your background, yeah. or even like Cat Got the Cream, or you know, even one of the sheer neutrals. Like I feel like there's it's so beautiful. many color palettes that can be made um, with those colors that are kind of outside of a lot of people's comfort zones 100 percent. i think we just yeah, i think we just have to get out of like that particular one color yeah but when you pair it together mm -hmm. it all becomes so beautiful and i don't know enough about color theory but rachel teaches me and then i'm like all right i can have a more open yeah. mind toward that yeah. yeah i would say if you're afraid of those colors throw them into your nail art and get yourself comfortable with yeah them. like yeah. you don't have to love the color itself but like adding that as like a pop of contrast really kind of helps elevate your nail art. You're so right. Kind of get you out of your comfort zone. You are so right. Next up is Lady Jane Grey. And this came out with the Cozy Up collection last year. This is a beautiful gray. It is like a putty gray. Ooh. And it Look is. Look at you. Yeah, I'm learning you from you. The words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Beautiful, beautiful. It's like a grayish. There you go. And now you can see it against that color grayish. <laughs> but um, it's just a beautiful grayish color. Yummy. This one is such a good one. We have so many clients who love these, like, beigey grays. Mm -hmm. so that one is perfect. Um, Shelly says, my 14-year-old daughter made me put poo yellow on all her nails, and she loved it. She said, you can put it on her fingers. <laughs> you can. There you go. You I'm, can. I'm one of those. I will wear it on all of them. Kayla is also one of them. She yep. will wear it all, all year round. Totally. So it's fine. Um, next up, we've got good old Strong Gale. This one is just a beautiful, deep, kind of blue-toned gray. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of a blue undertone to it, but it's just this kind of darker, moody, stormy gray. You know Gale, like a Gale Force wind. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen um, one in Rome? Nope. <laughs> you would love it. <laughs> uh... Because it's Dax Shepard, and, you know, his name is Gale. You know, oh, that's like funny. the strongest force on Earth for shaping and eroding the Earth. <laughs> Even though it's not. <laughs> so such a pretty. Good color. Definitely, like, moody, deep. One that I would wear this easily, is, yeah, right? Yeah, this is a Sarah color. Yep. All right, next up is Luna Eclipse. Such a fun color. I love this uh, When one. this first came out, I actually used this in... A Christmas manicure and we did a Harry Potter theme and was so it fun. was so cute her ornaments were little Harry Potter themed ornaments and we put 
put Luna Eclipse as the color of the ornaments. Wasn't that on my mom? It was. Yeah. It sure was. That it was, was so, so fun. fun. I feel like this this collection, um, oh my gosh, this won't stay on. What was this collection called? It was a Christmas one. It had diamonds in the sky. I can't remember uh -huh. the name of the collection. And but... North Star and Rocky Robin. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Whatever that one was called, because um, my brain isn't on today. Um, that was a fantastic collection, and I feel like starting now is a great time to use it. Absolutely. Then we've got all of the. I'm trying to show you the like shift in color so you can see it's purple over here, it's green over here. Mm -hmm. It's got some blue, it's got some gray. Yep. Even a little like brown. It's so good. Such a cool color. So fun. I love this one. I'm going to show you out of the bottle one more time so you can try to get that shift in there. But oh, it's just so cool. I want to put this over like a green. I want to put it over like willow tree. Sure, let's, let's I, swipe it on. I feel like just like a thin coat of that over this would be so cool. It is a semi sheer. So like this over black, this over a dark blue, this over this green. Kind of amps up the vibrancy of mm -hmm. it. Oh, that's cool. That is so good. Nice. Ah, Luna oh. Eclipse for the win. I like it's that. It's so cool. All right, last one for you. Oh, I just have to wipe this off since I just, you know. Uh, the Nail Shed underscore by Beck said, great for galaxy designs. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Um, last but not least, definitely not least, is from that same collection, good old Diamonds in the Sky. This mm. is a beautiful, glittery, holographic black gel polish. This one is absolutely stunning. Like, oh my God. I forgot how much I, I love, love it on this its color. own. I love it over color. It is so incredible. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's hard to like pick up all of that. It does have a sheer black base. So on its own, it's going to be semi sheer. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. But like this paired with like your <sighs> Halloween colors, like your greens, your oranges, your purples. That is so cool. It's so pretty. Wow. Watch this bad boy. You're just gorgeous. Diamonds in the sky. You're just a winner. You're just a real big winner. But like you can see, it's kind of like a that like sheer gray background. Mm. But even two coats of this is even like two coats perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like that's all you need. Or one coat if you were gonna put on, for instance, the black stars of. Um, is that sticker 106, the Starburst? Sure. Or you could paint on black stars, you could paint on silver stars, you could mm -hmm. paint on all kinds of things. And then this could be your background, kind of like that galaxy idea. Yeah. Or it's just stunning. putting this over black. Or I was just going to. Like a dark color. Put it over Teresa Green, Ooh, so yeah. just so that they could see it over a darker color. Uh, and then what you see is the holographic hit of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you can, like, oh, 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 wow. oh, oh, come oh, on. Wow. Okay, okay. That's pretty. Let me finish this watch. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, Tammy. It is so beautiful. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Like, yeah. Mm. You're just so pretty. The unsung hero of all of Magpies. Absolutely. Apologies. So, so gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so that rounds out all of the swatches that we have for you. Again, all of these products are available at magpiebeautyusa.com, or you can shop on the Magpie USA app. Mm -hmm. There is a sale happening through the end of tonight on all of the Halloween collection that you can save 10%. Um, or if you were interested in getting any of these colors, you could grab that while you're there. And of course, uh, you can let us know if you have any questions or need color suggestions. We're happy to help in any way. Absolutely. Until next week, have a great week. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.